Hi everyone! Welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Mona and Mish. Today we're going to be making a really tasty, sweet Persian rice dish called Adas Polo. And these are the ingredients you need to get started. So we're going to have three cups of basmati rice and you want to soak it for a minimum of 30 minutes. We did two hours for this and you can also do it overnight. Yeah, we wash it first. And yeah. we, we wash it like three, four times. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have three cups of lentils, one large onion, two cloves of garlic, six large dates, uh, and one cup of raisins. Yeah, these are the main ingredients and uh, also we, you're going to need uh, vegetable oil uh, or uh, cooking oil. I use avocado oil and also salt. I use Himalayan salt, uh, turmeric, uh, saffron and uh, cinnamon and black pepper. And if you have um, all spice, so for Persian cooking, the spices we they use is either all spice or this is called uh, Beharat seasoning, which is a mixer of uh, spices. So either one of these uh, you can use for cooking. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of avocado oil. We're going to put the oil on high in the beginning until the oil warms up and then we put it on medium. medium. Okay, we're now going to saute the onions. Now over the onion, we're going to put half Himalayan, uh, half uh, a teaspoon Himalayan salt and we're going to have one quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric and one eighth teaspoon of saffron and one eighth teaspoon of spices, all spice and one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to saute the onions. And I'm going to add one more tablespoon of cooking oil. So total will be four tablespoons. Now the onion, it took about 20 minutes on uh, medium heat. I was stirring every once in a while. Now I add the garlic. Now I'm going to add the dates into the onions and the garlic. When you put the dates, you have to stir it all the time. It's only going to take like one minute. It doesn't take that long. And then we're going to add the uh, raisins. You're adding the raisins after we wash them. The raisin, it takes only like one minute after this. So we put the dates first and then the raisin. So the dates would take like two minutes and the raisin one minute. And now that's it, we're going to turn off the heat. So for saffron, you need to use one eighth of teaspoon of um, saffron, which is this uh, measurement. But if you don't have that, not all the sets, they have that. So you can just use like on the tip of the uh, teaspoon either. Like this is, this is really small teaspoon. So you just put like if you don't have this small uh, teaspoon, you can just put here on the small teaspoon, just the tip of it. You can see how much it is, just the tip of it. You put saffron, okay? And then for this, you add two tablespoons of boiled water to dissolve the saffron. And usually I grind the saffron leaves. I feel they dissolve much better when you do that. Now we bring eight cups of water to a boil. Then we're gonna add two a tablespoon of uh, Himalayan salt or any salt you have you like and this just for the Himalayan salt I a little bit stir it because it doesn't dissolve easily or just a little bit and 
and then when it comes to boiling again you're going to add the rice and now at the same time uh, there is six cups of water and I'm going to add the washed and drained green lentil beans The water for the lentil beans is not boiling, just uh, tap water. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of uh, Himalayan salt. I'm going to cover it, but not completely. We let a little bit open for steam. Okay. Now the rice water is uh, boiling. Again, after I put the salt, then we're going to add the rice onto it. And then after we add the rice, we just mix it a little bit. And then um, we will wait between six to eight minutes. And now after six minutes, we are going to taste the rice. You want the rice to be like uh, a la dente. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So it took six minutes. Now we're going to go and drain it. Just a uh, regular water from the sink. We just wash it for a little bit. And now for the garnish, we're going to just take uh, some of the plain rice. And we're gonna mix it with the saffron that we prepared it earlier. So this is the saffron we prepared it earlier. Just to make sure we get the yellow color we're looking for. And then we keep this rice on the side. So in the same uh, cup of the saffron, I'm gonna add like a quarter cup of uh, hot or warm water. This is, we're gonna add it to the rice mixture later. Now the lentils are ready. They took about uh, 15 to 16 minutes. So I, it depends on the type of the lentil. Last time it took me only 13 minutes for the same quantities. So you just wanna make sure it's tasted and it's like, uh, it's soft and ready. It will not cook any further during the cooking process. Make sure it's ready now. I'm going to add four tablespoons of cooking oil. It depends also how wide is your pot because in the bottom we're going to have the uh, potatoes. So you want to make sure that you have a little bit extra oil after covering the bottom of the pan. So here we have a little bit extra oil. I cut, I sliced uh, some potatoes. This is about like three medium potatoes. You see how thin I sliced them? Not too thin, not too thin and not too thick. And then I'm adding uh, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. And then we just put them. And now we're gonna put potatoes in the bottom of the pan. So we just arrange them around the pan. Now I have some uh, extra potatoes, so you can just arrange them like this. But of course it's gonna get cooked, but they will uh, not be crispy. Now I'm gonna add uh, rice in the bottom of the pot uh, like three scoops of rice with three scoops of lentils and as you see i wore gloves in this uh, step now I'm going to add the mixture of the raisin and uh, onions and dates. This 
So you're, you, you're not gonna add the whole thing, just like one third of it. And then you mix them together. You make sure separate any sticking dates because the dates will stick together. I just separate them with my hands. Now we're gonna add some spices. Uh, this is cinnamon and this is allspice. And you can see uh, we add much, much more cinnamon than the allspice. So this is one quarter teaspoon of allspice and this is uh, one tablespoon of cinnamon. So at each layer we make, we're gonna sprinkle some allspice and cinnamon. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them. So this is now the second layer. And as I said, like the sticking, um, the dates that stick together just with your fingers separate them and then again add the allspice and the cinnamon now we're going to add the last layer And then we are going to add the last layer of the onion mixture with dates and raisins. And then you add the last layers. And you put it in a shape of pyramid. You bring the rice to the shape of pyramid. And then this is the last of the cinnamon. Put it on the top. Now we bring back the um, rice with saf saffron. And just we're gonna put it on the top so we can use it for garnish later on. So now this is the water that you see we use the leftover of the saffron so it became yellow so don't throw away the the leftover of the saffron you add hot water on it now i'm gonna mix two cooking uh, two tablespoon of cooking oil into the water that's one and this is two and just mix them together And then we're gonna pour it over the rice mixture. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna take it back to the stove. We're gonna start at medium heat. So here we brought it on the stove and we're gonna cover it. And we are going to wait till the rice inside the pot steams. Then we'll get back to you. And now after 20 minutes on medium heat, you can see how it, uh, the pot starts here steam. So it's steamed here. So then it's ready to put the towel on it. So we're going to put it on low heat and put the towel kitchen towel I use it only for kitchen for cooking and put it and make sure put it up so you don't burn it and then after um, 
20 or 30 minutes I'll check on it and I'll add some cooking oil like about two to three tablespoons of cooking oil so I'll keep adding a little cooking oil every 20 to 30 minutes till it's completely done the rice is ready usually the total cooking of the rice takes between hour and a half to two hours on low heat okay so this took an hour and a half to cook it smells so good i can smell the cinnamon okay we're gonna take the oops we're gonna take the yellow saffron for garnishing okay now we're gonna plate it so usually persian they put uh they eat it with like chicken Hopefully soon we'll make you the recipe for that chicken. Now we put the saffron rice on the top. And now we're gonna take the potato, tati, tati, and we put it around the plate. Usually everybody loves this potato. Okay, it's time to try it out. My favorite part, <laughs> always. Okay, it smells so good. I'm gonna get this date. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow. Mm, this is so good. Wow. It's so good. I love the dates. Mm -hmm. They're so sweet. They make the rice taste so delicious. And you know, the lentils are a good source of protein and fiber. Yeah. So, um, we usually eat it with um, like a yogurt cucumber dip and also some chicken next to it. Mm hmm. And let's try the potato. Well, We'll show you guys the chicken recipe another time. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. for now, we're going to go and finish this. It's okay. so good. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you can try this and enjoy yes. it like well, we did. Let us know in the comments if you end up trying this dish. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>